Did you just send me $1 USD? What am I gonna buy with that? Come on, Harge, don't be poor. You already did $1, guess what? I'm literally getting 60 cents. Okay, you don't sub right now. Three, two, one, you're getting banned. One of the most popular videos I have on this channel is roasting a, uh, a, a female Twitch streamer, a lady of the Twitch, a very skilled individual who sits in a pompazon and wears like no pants and guys give her money. I say that because I respect the skill. I respect the hustle. The fact that guys give her money, that's the problem. She's not the problem. The guy's giving her money. They're the problem. We talked about don't be poor. We talked about all this stuff. We have a new champion, a Twitch streamer who yelled at a viewer for quote unquote, only giving her $1, $1 USD. What is she supposed to do with that? She can't buy anything with that. You poor don't be poor while well, you're not being poor. Maybe you should check out Meta PCs. Check this out quick. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Meta PCs. Look, you've been around, you know that I've been talking about Meta PCs for a very long time. In fact, it's the primary computer I use, but it's not just because they're a sponsor. It's for so many more reasons. They have fully customizable, configurable PCs and all the hardest to find parts in stock and ready to go. They also have ready to ship PCs ready for you today. Here's a couple of reasons why I like Meta PCs. First and foremost, it's veteran ownership. Meta PCs is a veteran owned business. One of Meta's owners has served both in Afghanistan and Iraq and received a Purple Heart for his service. Meta also employs military veterans in Meta's operations center and also provides systems to veterans going back to school to help them re-enter the workforce all across the United States. They offer financing. It has 100% US based sales and support. And when you receive your PC, it's ready to go right out of the box. You don't have to get complicated and set things up. You just plug it all in and you're ready to rock. And on top of that, Meta PCs is offering you, my viewer, a huge discount when you use the link in the description or you use promo code THEQUARTERING. If you use my code at checkout, not only do you save money, but you support my content and a company that will not bow to cancel culture. So maybe you're not ready to pick up a new computer today, but when you are, remember to go to metapcs.com and use promo code THEQUARTERING to support me and to save money. And everybody wins. Twitch viewer threatens to ban viewer for not subbing. Don't be poor. Now, of course, as always, when I cover these, uh, fine individuals, I don't give their names and I don't think that anyone should because it's just sad. It's part of, you know, like the idea that somebody gave you some of their hard earned money and that first of all, that's already awesome. When you then like go and shame them because it wasn't enough, that's like uniquely demonic. I, I don't even know how else to describe it. Like part of the reason I don't stream as much is because like, even if somebody donates a dollar or somebody donates, f I don't know, $500, I read it because a dollar to somebody is it's all relative. You don't know. I mean, like that might be the last extra dollar they have for that week. And they decide to give it to you. I know it's like, oh man, maybe you shouldn't be on an iPhone watching Twitch. Okay, fine. All right. But like somebody tosses you a few bucks like that. You don't know their personal financial situation. Over the past few years, Twitch's popularity has grown significantly. As of 2022, the platform has 140 million active users per month. Among those are a wide variety of viewers and streamers, most of which actively interact with each other through chat. Sometimes, however, those interactions don't go to plan. Twitch streamer don't care about your name recently went viral after threatening to ban a viewer for not subscribing to their channel. During a recent stream on Twitch, the viewer sent someone a $1 donation. However, she made it clear that she wasn't happy with it. Did you just donate me $1 USD? What am I going to buy with that? She replied, don't be a P word. Come on, let's go. Don't be poor. 
You already did one dollar. Guess what? I'm literally getting 60 cents. And as you can see, the streamer is providing some really riveting content. Sitting in front of their bed, which has LED backlights, and wearing a dress, uh, that a tight dress. By the way, you could win her heart and be a boyfriend for the season. A hundred subs a day keeps the doctor away. She wants a hundred subs a day. That would be... 3,000, I guess if you streamed all month, there's 3,000 subs a month. $5 each, that's $15,000. They split that 50 dollars $7,500 for this riveting content. Did you just send me $1 USD? What am I going to buy with that? What is she going to buy with that? Ugh, she's disgusted. She's so angry that it was only a dollar. She's checking her phone now to make sure it wasn't, it wasn't maybe a typo. That like maybe it should, maybe it wasn't a typo. Like maybe they meant to do a thousand dollars. No, hard. Don't be a. So she says, "Don't be a p-word." Well, I'm not gonna play that. Come on, hard. Don't be poor. Don't be poor. You already did one dollar. Guess what? I'm literally getting sixty cents. Ugh. Oh, only sixty cents. Okay, you don't stop right now. Three, two, one, you're getting banned. Now I don't know how popular this streamer is, but they seem awful. In fact, let's just pull up a little Twitch stats maybe and just see. If this person is even relevant, I mean, they're about to get a lot of attention. So I hope it was worth it. Let's see. The most viewers they've ever had is 256 and streams in two categories, either pools, hot tubs, and beaches, or just chatting. So it's an e-girl, right? That's what it is. It's somebody who's, I mean, you want a hundred subs a day. You don't even average a hundred viewers. Your expectation is that 100% of people who are viewing your content pay you money. Like that's not even true in the strip club. Like, I don't even understand why people react in this way. Why people think that this is okay to be this garbage. But like, there you go. I mean, you're getting lots of attention. I mean, we have like, remember last year, the maybe the all time best was uh, Invader V. Because, because I'm not asking, asking you for a large financial contribution. If it costs $20 to sub, $20 is quite a bit. Oh yeah, it is. $20 yeah. is you can get a full meal for $20. And <laughs> not anymore. And the difference of $20 and eating a meal is in that $20. Like, that's where it is. Right, that's where it is. But yeah, yeah. Sub is $5. Yeah. At maximum, in whatever your currency is, it's maybe $10. And, and here again, sub goal, 11 out of 40. It's so weird. Like, imagine, imagine, if you will, like, I, I mean, like, there are people who are into this. Like, unironically, there are people who are into being told. It's called Findom. Like, give me money, you're a worm. I want money. I don't know why. I don't do that. Listen, viewer. There is, see that? There's a subscribe button, right? Everyone can hit that. Listen, worms. You need to join as a member. Think about it. It's only $5 to join as a member. I mean, in Joe Biden's economy, that might as well be negative $5. The fact that the fact of the matter is if if you're if you garbage people viewing this, don't join as a member right now on my channel, then like everything that your parents said about you being awful and a disappointment is true. I don't know. I don't know if I could I, I don't think I'm built for this. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm built for this. Of course, then 
Goes on to Invader V. Apology is a mask for the Findom E girlfriend experience she peddles on Twitch. I mean, it's it's a hundred percent true. And every time one of these view one of these clips goes viral or whatever, like here you in, she offers a TOS approved girlfriend experience. I've never dated a girl in my life that demanded money. I don't know how I would react to that. Like, if you demand money and like, maybe in like a joking way, like, ha ha, give me money. Or like, uh, you're at like the pub or something and you're like, give me some money. I got to go to the bar or something. But like, there is nothing like, like that would just not be a thing. Like that, that, that would not exist. Like the thing is that what these women are doing though, sneakily, okay, is they're sussing out like one or two pay piggies. And like some of these pay pigs can be like astronomical, uh, donating a thousand dollars here or there, $500 a day, thousand dollars a day. And they like get off on donating the money. Like I'm not going to kink shame, but I'm also going to say like, these girls are not providing a, a really a, a, a service that needs to be on Twitch. And like, I don't know who this person is the the person who like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I can scroll down on this picture anymore. Okay. I guess I can like, sure. She's like, I mean, she's hot, but she's also terrible. And like, I don't think that there's like, I, I don't really understand why people pay these people money. She's taking a picture in a Rolls Royce. Okay. And she's sitting on Twitch begging for subscribers. I'm sorry. Uh, there's a difference between subscribing, which is like free on YouTube or following it's called on Twitch and like being a member. Look, by the way, if I don't get 150 new members today, I'm just, I don't, I'm just, I'm going to be so angry. Ugh, give join as a member. Does it, is it working? I guess I'll know later if it worked. I don't look like this though. So that probably, I'm probably not going to be able to do it. Like here, you're taking a picture on a Porsche on your 23rd birthday. And you're sitting on Twitch like a loser begging for money. I, I strongly suspect that this woman doesn't own any of these vehicles. She finds a vehicle, takes a picture on it uh, when she's walking down the street, or maybe she trades like a, you know, 15 minute angry handy J for, so that she can take a picture on somebody's vehicle. I could tell you this, I could tell you this one time in my life, did some, a woman ask to take a picture on my car. I had a uh, Shelby GT 500. And I said, absolutely not. <laughs> like, I, I, saw, I saw, first of all, she was going to do it without asking. And then I happened to be outside having a sick. And I was like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I was going to take a pic. Is this your car? Yeah. Can I take a picture on it for ins? No, you cannot. In fact, get away from my car. I don't want to catch in the clap. Okay. So, uh, yeah. These, 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 uh, these, these women, it's sad. It's sad that she even had at this point, 40 subscribers. Come on, fellas, you got to do better. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that like button down below. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. We'll talk to you again real soon.